I'm going to talk about a problem in chapter six, practice problems, number eight. And this problem has you working with the Michaelis-Menten equation. The first part of the problem in A, you're asked at what substrate concentration would an enzyme with a K-cat of 30 per second and a KM of 0 0.0050 molar operate at one quarter of its maximum rate. The maximum rate is Vmax. So to do this problem, I'm going to convert that into um, 0.25 Vmax. So we're trying to solve for what initial velocity will get us at a quarter of the way to Vmax. So with this relationship in place, we can then use the Michaelis-Menten equation. Initial velocity equals Vmax times substrate concentration over Km plus substrate concentration. And we can um, divide both sides by Vmax. And there's a couple of ways to do this, actually. Let's just do a simple substitution at this point from over here to over here. So you can say 0.25 Vmax equals Vmax times S over Km plus S. The solutions manual does it differently. It's a bit faster, but um, as long as you do your math correctly, you'll get to the same answer. So when we cross multiply here, we can go 0.25 Vmax times Km plus 0.25 Vmax times S equals Vmax S. So I just cross multiplied there. I can take Vmax and pull it out of both these terms. So I'm left with 0.25 Km plus 0.25 S equals Vmax S. And I can divide um, both sides by Vmax. So I'm left with 0.25 Km plus 0.25 S. We know a value for Km, and it's 0.25. So then it becomes 0.25 times 0.0050 plus 0.25 S equals S. And so I'll just plug that in to my computer, my calculator, 0 0.25 times 0 0.0050 is 0 0.00125 equals 0.75S. So what I did there is there's a little one there in front of that substrate concentration. So I subtracted 0.25 from both sides. And now I'll divide both sides by 0.75. And I get a substrate concentration of 0 0.00167. And that is in molar. And if you look for at the answer in the solutions manual, it's 1.7 times 10 to the negative 3 molar, which is exactly in, um, which is exactly what we get with our calculation. So you can see the method I used here is 
has many more steps shown than the one in the solutions manual. The one in the solution manual is, is fine, but they just do a few of the steps in their, in their heads, so to speak. Uh, I showed everything, every algebraic step really clearly, um, just so that you could follow it. I know some people had questions on this one. So um, this is one of the ways you can do it. And hopefully this helped you out. If you have any questions, um, please comment or post to Piazza. Thank you.